What's up everyone, I am Wolfstrike150 and welcome back to my wonderful city of Wolfapolis where we will be doing, again, the gym. This gym has been a big project but I have loved every second of doing it and it's kind of great that now I have completed my latest Grand Theft Auto house so this gives me a lot of time to get some stuff done and I've done a little bit off camera work because I kind of plan on getting most of this gym done this episode. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'll kind of recap some of the things that I've done since uh, uh, last episode. And first things first, uh, you can see that I've pretty much uh, laid out the entire like uh, distance, I guess, like the, the square footage of the entire like workout area. I finished that and I've also added up here, this is kind of the way that the uh, indoor track's gonna go. It's gonna go up and around. You can pretty much run and then it's gonna curve around this way and stuff like that. So that's um, just a little bit of a layout on how this is gonna, uh, how it's all gonna work. So let's go ahead and get started with um, some more uh, workout machines. So first of all, there's one thing that I really wanna build and I think it's gonna look really cool. But I need some blocks for this. Let's see, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get like, I'm gonna go crazy here. Uh, let's get some dark oak, and we're also gonna get some birch. Now these are some two weird colors, but these colors are actually going to be perfect for what I wanna do. And then we're also gonna get our end rods because I think that those might be pretty useful for this. Anyway, what this pretty much is gonna be is it's, it's a, um, all right, just, just let me build and I'm pretty sure it'll kind of explain itself a little bit. Uh, let's put that there. We don't want it too close to the machines. Uh, yeah. So, uh, start it there, and I'm just gonna do that, and then I'm gonna... This is gonna be like a weird transition. Two completely different blocks, but I think it's gonna add a lot. So, I'm just going to... Uh, yeah, like that far. Um, I'm just gonna kind of copy what I've done over there, over here. Okay, that's a good start. And yeah, I've got, I, I got some big ideas for this. So then I'm gonna add another one here. And it's gonna be like that. Okay, but this one actually is going to incline a little bit more. And you might be catch, catching my drift on what I'm doing here, or you might not. I mean, it, it just depends on whether you've actually been to a gym or not. Uh, you might catch my drift or you might uh, still not understand what I'm building here, but let me just keep on uh, putting stuff down and it'll kind of work itself out. I think I'm being consistent with this uh, spacing. And then that's probably going to be the peak. So. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna do the same thing over here. And just one more. All right, so that's gonna be the peak and then we're going to do a decline here. So, one more. And come over here and do the same thing. So yeah, this is uh, definitely uh, interesting. It's a little weird to some of you maybe but it's got a purpose. Everything in this gym has a purpose. It's a good thing. So after I get, I think whenever I get done kind of building most of the structure, I'll kind of explain what it is and what you do with it. Okay, so we got a good structure there. So here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna place our end rod across like this and same thing over here and I know it's not going to connect so we'll have to we'll have to see what we're going to do about that I don't know if it, I mean I'm not entirely like I don't really have a problem with it being with it floating a little bit because it just doesn't really matter but I mean if you want to go with realism I mean I suppose I could try to make a connection but with these end rods, you really need a full block or something to make that connection work. So, just take take a look at it, you guys. I don't know if you've guessed kind of what's going on here yet or not, but um, I'm going to. Okay, these end rods are a little weird. Just 
I can't do exactly what I want to do, but I can kind of do what I want to do. So, there, there, uh huh. And I'll have to I'll have to make these connections work the best I can. And we're going to. Our, do we want to move up or? Yeah, we'll, or we'll just keep going this way. Kind of talking to myself and trying to plan this out in my head. And then there. It's all weird right now, but I'm sure I'm sure you've caught on on what's going on here. I'm gonna go ahead and explain kind of what this is. This is a. It's almost like a playground, but it's not like a playground. Like, pretty much, this is a, a way to test your agility. And by pretty much, you have to, or it's also a test of strength and endurance and all of that. But pretty much, it's exactly what it looks like. Is you actually climb across this, and you pretty much get as far as you can get, as far as you can go. Uh, think yeah and um, if you can get to the end then that's really good so finish that so there it is there's our um our climbing thing so pretty much you uh, jump up here you hang on here and you pretty much just climb your way across and that's what this is I thought this would be pretty cool to add because this is what my gym actually has so yeah I, th I think that looks pretty awesome and then there's some other stuff here, like um, they have like they have stuff all over this, like pull-up bars and stuff like that. So I just put some pull-up bars over here, and and we'll do some stuff over here too, just to add that detail. A lot of this is floating right now, and I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. But that's pretty much the gist of what I wanted to do there. That's perfect. All right, so we got that juggle gem thing. All right, so now let's, um, we're gonna move over to more of this side of the gym and we are going to add some more weight machines. Who could have guessed? So first things first, I wanna add one of these, some of these machines that I typically go to sometimes. So we're going to need what colors do we want to use? Do we want to go with like green like we've been going with or do we want to try something new? Not kind of undecided on that. Uh, I'm, we're gonna need gray. I know that's one block we're gonna need. Um, not really decided on how I want to make this either. And what blocks do I want to use to make this? Because uh, I feel like I feel like I could get some um, so, some really detailed stuff in here, but just just going with the block that I want could it might be a little hard to find. Hmm, ladders might come into place a little bit. All right, well we'll just we'll start building and we'll kind of go with the flow and see where it takes us. So. Right now, I'm just gonna place down this gray wool. I need to vision this. All right. Um, uh, that doesn't look like what I thought it was gonna look like. So, maybe not. Okay, first things first. I'm going to get some slabs. So let me just get some stone slab, and then I'm gonna have that come out. Uh, probably about that far and then we are going to we'll try to make some kind of chair I think I know I shouldn't eat can't really use an actual chair maybe we could use the, the trap door a little bit in this maybe maybe um, that's not how I wanted that to go uh Nope, I almost got it. Why, no, why do you place them that way? No. Okay, okay, I think I got it. Okay, so uh, we just need that to come back a little bit more. All right, there we go. 
So hypothetically, this is actually where you sit. And I need to make this a little higher. And uh, we need some platforms, first of all. So all right, we'll do these on each side. And we'll go, yeah, probably about that high. Or maybe that's too far away. Maybe I need it a little closer. Now, now that I think of it, that's way too far, like, wingspan wise. So, yeah, that's pretty good. And remember, we're gonna have. Uh, would this look good? I need, um, something for the redstone category. A tripwire hook. Maybe? Can I even. Can I not place a tripwire hook on this? No, I didn't really think I could. So, here's what we're gonna do we're going to. Just get a full dark oak wood block and we'll put it here. Hopefully, nah, that'll be fine. We'll do that and then we're gonna put a full tripwire hook and another full tripwire hook. And, ah. Uh, so this is a little complex. Okay, so pretty much what you do here is you sit here, you grab this side and you grab this side and it's, it's a chest workout and you pretty much, you, um, you pull them towards you or you can act like you're benching. That's the, that's the gist of what that is. It's nothing um, like complicated about it. I'm just trying to wonder, like I was gonna put like some like string, cause the string like, there's, it like attaches, but maybe not. I could use this ladder, maybe. Does this ladder look like, um, like weights? I mean, maybe. I think it looks like weights a little bit. Okay, well, I think I think that'll be um, fine, and then we can let that that's to adjust the uh, like the weight bar or, or just how much weight you're putting on it. So, yeah, yeah, we'll roll with that, and then we're going to. Oh, a lot of this stuff. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it on Minecraft, but I'm I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try for you guys. Uh, for this one, I probably don't need so, didn't need to be so tall. For this one, um, you pretty much just grab it, and it, this is like a shoulder workout. Uh, there's nothing much to most of these machines, is the funny thing about it. But, that means that now we can add some of the, uh, interesting stuff, like bench press. One of my favorite things to do at the gym. So let's go ahead and we're gonna attempt to make a bench press. This, this is gonna be fun. So what we're gonna do is we need some stone slabs. Uh, maybe not that close. So we're just gonna make a couple of bench presses over here. Uh, that seems like a decent size, I think. So for the bench press, obviously we're gonna need, I don't know why I got rid of it. We're gonna, going to need the end rod again and end rod that's gonna be our weight bar like normal so wow all right here we go is that too high that might be too high uh huh and that might be too low I need to take a step back and look at which one's better see that gives you like no room whatsoever but I don't know, it feels a little bit more realistic than being like all the way up there. Hmm. I, th I think I think we'll just um, do that. Just because, I, I don't know. It's, it, it, it seems more uh, realistic there. So, then we're going, I guess we'll just go ahead and put on our weights on this thing too. I mean, why not? Put on our weights. Someone, I, I did watch a video where someone had a really good idea for this, like a, a like a bench press, but um, they I know they had to glitch and they had to use pistons and stuff. I don't think I'm gonna go complex like that. I think this will work pretty well. And up back, I'll just do that. I mean, that's a that's a decent bench press. You lay down here. And, uh, I can't get that perspective because I can't get under there, but yeah, you lift it up and down. I mean, that's not a bad bench press. But yeah, that, that'll be our bench press. 
and then we need to come over um, a little uh, farther away, so not there, but uh, here. Uh, we're just going to make a couple of these. We don't want too much of them, but we do want more than one, because there's a, more than one person that goes to a gym, typically, unless you own a gym, which that'd be really nice to actually have your own gym. I mean, it'd be convenient. You wouldn't, like, I wouldn't have to drive to the gym every uh, morning. I could just wake up and go inside my house. Some people have that luxury in real life. And if you have that luxury, I, I envy you because you must be rich. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's, that's, um, I think we'll just have two bench presses because. Uh, I do need to have room for everything that I want to put in here. Okay, let's actually take a break from the weights. Uh, I'll probably add more weights and stuff later on, but because I don't want this video, I don't want every video, just the whole focus to be weights. I want to add more stuff. So let's actually go up here and we're going to make some progress up here because it's, it's, so, um, it's so not complete up here. So I'm going to go ahead and clear my inventory there. And we're going to get out some court stairs again because this needs to come up one more layer. So this will be the ground level. And we'll do the same thing over here. All right. So, okay, first of all, I need to decide, I think I need to take this wall up. The, the, this is like the part where I need to I might need to make the outside wall taller because uh, This it might have to be taller than what I initially anticipated So just for right now, I'm gonna take this light gray wool um, Wool up for uh, just kind of getting this wall a little higher so that I can add some stuff to it Oh Wow, I you know, it's it's in, it's not until I start like doing stuff like walls that I really realize Maybe I went a little out of hand with the size of this place I mean this roof is gonna take a while to fill in now that I think about it, but it's okay. It's okay. I mean It's not like I it's it's, it's not like I do things small in the city of Wolfapolis. Everything is bigger in Wolfapolis. So we had to have a big gym. You know how it is. We just had to. So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to get that red wool and I'm gonna put the track over here. And how I made it five wide. So I needed to do the same thing over here. So this track is going to be right up against this wall. So pretty much, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and go here and one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to go ahead and make our outline for the track. And I'll just have to go ahead and have this come around like it's supposed to. So this is just going to go to the other side of the wall and this right here this is going to be the uh the wall so uh we'll just take this up a little bit all right or wait no yeah okay yeah i actually okay yeah uh, i'm actually <laughs> extending this uh this building which i forgot to mention that or am i all right, yeah, yeah, I am. Okay, there's a wall there, and then there's gonna be a, a wall out here. So I'm gonna have to add a wall and have it come all the way down to the ground because, like I said, this uh, this place is gonna be extended a little bit. So just for now, I'm gonna do this, and this is actually where our track's gonna come right up against. So let me fill this in, and then we'll get our track filled in the best we can. So, uh, th how are y'all doing? I'm glad that y'all tuned into my video again if you're watching. Uh, I hope you're all having a wonderful week. And I'm just saying um, I'm pretty happy because uh, I feel like I feel like YouTube might pick up really well for me in the future because uh, I've recently just gotten like a bunch of people uh, to record some videos with. So I'm thinking of... 
I will always be a Minecraft YouTuber, like that's my main thing. But I'm kind of thinking of trying some other stuff, which I've already tried some other stuff with some friends. But I want to do some funny stuff. If you've been a long-term fan of mine, then you would know that back in the day, I mean back in the day, I'm saying back in the day, whenever I, uh, like, first started recording, I used to do, um, Grand Theft Auto, uh, funny moments, and that's something that I'm trying to, uh, I might try to pick up, and I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it completely different for one thing, so that's something that I'm kind of interested about getting up, up and going again, because I have a, I have a group of really funny friends, and we just, we just have a good time whenever we play games together, so, um, I'm definitely, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is making me think. This is really making me think right here because you can see this. I didn't notice that it's actually coming over the top of this stuff. And it's not over here. I had a wall separating that. Uh. I can't really. You know, that, that that might still work. I don't think that's really gonna be a problem, actually. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just roll with it. Um, I thought it might be a problem because I thought I was gonna have to put a wall down, because, but I can do something. I can work with this. This is gonna be no problem whatsoever. So, this is pretty much the way that the outside track is going to be and I'm going to try to do stuff like add de like detail onto this track to make it look like a track the best I can with what I can do on Minecraft. You never know. I just got to try things. Right, so, uh... Alright. So that's pretty much our track. You just, you just run around. I mean, this is cool. An inside track. That is really cool. And... We're probably gonna have to light this place up pretty well whenever I actually get that roof on. Like, this place is going to have to be pretty lit up. But, um, let's go ahead and just take this track all the way around, because that's where it's eventually gonna go. So, this track is actually, it's gonna come down here, and it's gonna be so that you could actually run right past and see the, uh, the basketball court. Which is really, it's really unique. I like the way that that is at my gym. So, we almost got her. There we go. And, yeah. That doesn't need to be all the way because we're going to add that wall up. So, yeah, that track, it, it literally just goes around the perimeter of the building. So, with that track put in a little bit, let's go ahead and start laying out their, the floor that we're going to put up here. So, I'm going to use a gray wool for the floor up here. I know, I know, or no, not gray wool. Uh, we're gonna use the, actually the material we use down here, which is um, a black. And I know, I know, it's a, it's a dark color, but I mean, it, it works for a gym, so. Uh, that's just gonna come up right to the track, and it gives us, we gotta, we're gonna have all this room up here to add even more, uh, even more, uh, what you might call them. Uh, workout machines. So, uh, this is definitely really cool. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. And then, it's just gonna come down this way. And this entire area is, that is gonna be filled in with this uh, hardened clay. Swiftness. And, yeah, that's just gonna come down and connect. So, I know I'm doing a lot of like building and uh, just trying to visualize uh, this, all this being filled in and more weight machines. Like this is going to be awesome. I, I can promise you that. Because I, I know exactly how this is going to end up in this thing. I mean, it's going to be good. It's going to be really good in the end. So, I'm just going to do this. I really plan on doing a lot of off-camera work after this too, so, uh, because I want to try to get onto bigger and better things as far as Wolf Atlas goes, so, you know, I don't want to stick on doing one building 
or too long. So I'm really gonna try to, you know, start to wrap this up the best I can. But it, I mean, it was with the GTA house and everything. I kind of, I found myself pretty busy with, as far as my recordings, it, it always had to be just strictly, uh, like strictly that, the, um, the GTA house. I couldn't really upload anything else because that was like my priority. But now that that's done, that means that we can kind of really get this stuff done. So, uh, we're, I'm going to try my best to do that. So we almost got her. Or, we don't almost got her, but we've almost got... We pretty much got a square to fill in now is what we got. And I realized that after I do that, it's going to make it dark in here. So I'm going to I'm gonna have to put a lot of lights in here. So hopefully I can light it up. Uh, well enough with it being subtle and not like having a bunch of glowstone all over the place because I hate having glowstone. Um, and trust it, like lighting up that movie theater was not the easiest feat ever. And with the movie theater, you had to keep it semi dark, but uh, the gym it needs to be pretty lit up in here. So I need to figure out how I'm going to do it with, uh, you know, not having dark shadows in here and stuff. But. Uh, that's some good progress on this gym, and that's pretty much all the time we have in the video. So, uh, that's going to conclude this episode of Building Wolf Atlas. I want to thank you guys again for tuning into the episode today. Uh, do make sure to smack that like button if you did enjoy the video, and uh, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I'm Wolfstrike150, and see you guys in the next video.